Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 7 of Sky Factory 3. Soren, how's it going? Hello! Going well. Yeah? What's cooking? Getting. And thanks. And such. I'm getting ready to make a mycelium farm. For which water? Oh. Nice. I think. I think that's what I'm about to do. We're gonna find out. But I should get a stack of soul sand out of this if I configure it correctly. Um so basically I wanna pipe into the top and extract out the bottom. Probably. There's two ways we could go about doing that. I don't know if the item conduits, but I'm thinking the barrels in at least one seven were sided. So they had to go into the top and out the bottom. But we'll find out. And then we also have to re re replenish the water, which we'll uh, we'll figure out. But first things first, ancient seeds or spores or whatever they're called. Boom. That should get us mycelium. In theory. Yay. And that, if you're adjacent to the witch water, oh, can yes. can uh, can you bring your watering can over? Can you water that for me? Thank you, kind sir. I don't think it works as well as it should have. Really? Look we'll at the other watering can. Okay. We're gonna find out. Experiments. So two things we're gonna have to do. Um, and then we're gonna have to do like infinite water source. Okay, that's better. That totally works. And these things are transforming. Okay, cool. So they take a minute to transform into witch water. That seems slower than it used to be. Doesn't it seem slower than it used to be? I feel like it's slower. Oh well. It's all good. It's gonna be automated, so speed's not that important. By the way, we have mushrooms now. By the way, by the way, this thing rocks. I want you guys to know, like, how awesome this is. Look at all the loots we're getting. And, I mean, this thing over here. I threw a new um, alloy smeltery down. Um, just cause. Hey, I had a, I had one of these dudes in there. Where'd it go? I don't know. Maybe so I install it. So he said I can just right-click this thing? Oh, neat. Sweet. And you're configured to output to there. Good. Okay. Uh, we'll be right back in a minute, guys, once our water turns into witch water, which is taking a lot longer than I remember it taking. All right. So now that this is witch water. So we discovered, guys, that in this version, the more mycelium around the stone barrels, the better. And it looks in an eight block or, well, eight, you know, one block radius. So the eight blocks around it and presumably under it all help. Um, so basically, the more mycelium, the better, directly around it. So, you're going to be there. That should be cool. Now we're going to configure you guys to be insert. Now the question is... So first thing I want to do is... That. So that we have a base for that and that's cool um, now in theory we should be able to insert and you can be extract always active so what you should do is do that nice cool now can you extract on brown always active and can you insert on brown The answer is yes! Awesome! That is what's up. So if we set this guy to in and out, insert on green, extract on brown, always active. Beautiful. And that goes into there. Cool! So that makes my life infinitely easier. Insert on green, extract on brown, always active. Check it out, Soren. It's working. Nice. Um, save for soul sand. 
So we okay. can spawn a wither wig? Uh, no. I'm <laughs> not kidding. Uh, I'm assuming the way to get water is a transfer node with a world interaction upgrade in it. That's one way. You can also use a rest for it. Yeah. That is also an option. That requires fused quartz, though. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, transfer node work. The problem is, uh, you know what? I'll go make great power. We need that anyway. Um, yeah. No, I'm with you. The reservoir might... Good power is pretty easy to make. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to do this. Um... So basically, that should automatically turn into witch water quicker. <laughs> um, we can sift this stuff. So we should have a diamond mesh around here somewhere. Yes. I'm just gonna, like, borrow. Well, maybe I'll make a new diamond mesh for manual sifting. Does that sound like a kind of a plan, or should I just borrow this one for every now and then? I'm gonna borrow it every now and then, at least for now. Which I know. I say the for now thing all the time. And usually I mean it at the time. And then things happen. Things that are hard to avoid. So diamond mesh comes out. We should now be able to sift soul sand in here. Tech tree start. Luckily, quartz is um, pretty common. It's like 75% chance, I think, from a diamond mesh. So it's you have 33% chance to get two from flint, or you have a 75% chance to get one and a 38% chance to get one more, but you can also get gas here. So to me, it seems like diamond is the way to go. So that's good. Um, I'll take this back and put it in here for the time being. So you already, nice, gave me two more soul sand. All right, never mind. time being, come back. Do, 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 do. Hey, I got a ghast here. Nice. And we'll let that run again. So let's see how much of you is gonna be making me happy. Uh, you should have been in alley mode. Why are you in furnace mode? Why are you in furnace mode? That should have been alley mode. It's gonna make me unhappy, because that's gonna make me silicon, isn't it? Wasteful! I needed to be in alley mode. Oh well. It's okay. Life goes on. Oh goodness, fused quartz is gonna be a nuisance to get a lot of, Soren. It's four quartz for one uh, fused quartz. Then just make the transfer nodes. Or either I have everything makes good power. Now. You do? Yep. Okay. So we've got a transfer node for fluids, and we've got the mining upgrade already. I might want to throw the speed upgrade that you apparently have made at some point. And basically, we'll come over here. Ideally, I wouldn't be preventing these guys from... Actually, if you place it down now, it will work. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you want to do... Well, hmm, how do I want to do this? A couple of approaches we could take. You know what I'm thinking, Soren? What's that? I think I want to pump the water in from under the platform. So would you be super awesome to me and build the platform out to under here? I'm currently using a manual mill. <laughs> yeah. And you still have my builder's wand. A manual mill? <laughs> I put your builders along the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, the reason I don't make the uh, solar panel is because this makes 15, and I can use it for multiple things getting to the water mill, which will make 16. Don't you need to, like... Oh, so you're making... You're making the... Those things. I know what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I skipped the solar panels entirely. Right. I'm going to need some torches down here, by the way. Okay. 
So in theory, I should be able to have you guys. I forgot something. Ah, thank you. When can we be civilized enough to have a ladder instead of a waterfall for getting up and down? <laughs> so I like water everywhere. It's so good. I'm gonna put the gas here I got in our giant chest. Okay. We'll never find it again. <laughs> never. It's gone forever. Well, what do we get for buying storage? That thing will be nice. It will be. So we'll do this. And then this can be our infinite water source. Okay. And then this goes in here with you. You should be getting water. Why oh, do I have the speed upgrade on me? Where'd that speed upgrade go? I think it's in the giant chest. Actually. Oh, can you drop it down to me? Oh, no. I can't. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I'll be there in a second. Thank you, sir. Good. Thanks. Guessing that will speed this up? Uh, kind of, yeah. A little bit quicker. No power. All right, so that should be not the fastest, but it should be good enough for now to make us a decent amount of soul sand. So in theory, soul sand production should now be in progress. So we are getting witch water, which is transforming. We It's still slow, even with all these things around it. I broke the block that was under yeah, it, because I don't know that the block under it was down. helping much. And also, that way we can still grow mushrooms. I don't know if we're ever going to care about all these mushrooms we have, but they'll grow now. I, I was looking at the recipe list and was like, maybe? They actually grow rather quickly. Dude, I'm just sitting here like left clicking and they're growing. Like, I can't keep up with the growth of them. You know what? They grow next to the stone barrels. They don't just oh, grow on right. the mycelium, they grow next to the stone barrels. So they're actually quite quick. Dude, I can't. I can't. I can't keep up. They're growing faster than I can break them over here. Right? That's pretty much where we're at with this. So then soul sand, and then boom. See that? And then it should refill with water and transform again. Nice! Dude, this is totally 100% working. So... Uh, sand input on the left, uh, soul sand output on the right, Soren. I should get one of those okay. keys. Did you make a key for storage drawers yet? I presume that you did not. No. You'll probably want to make two keys, so you can make the quantifying key too. What's the quantifying key do? Oh, those plate numbers at the front. Oh, yeah? No. 16 power now! We have grid power! I'll be in a very awkward location, but it works. It's all good, dude. And just in case I ever fully empty these. We're not getting silicon anymore. I think you might need flint inside the sag mills to get silicon. That's probably the case. Let's see. Silicon. Oh, yeah, did you want to see the magic that is Fox Networks? I did. Give me... How do we get silicon at some point from this? I don't even know. Uh, give me a minute, and the answer will be yes. Um, let me clean up my inventory, and then I'll be ready to see that. So we're right back, guys. All right, guys, we're back. Soren, you wanted to show me the new wireless power system that we want to check out, right? From Flux Networks. Yeah, so first, we're going to make a log, I believe. So I assume we need one Flux controller, and then 
the plugs for sending energy and the points for receiving energy? Is that... Having not looked at the mod at all, that would be my first needed. guess. Yeah, that's my guess. I don't know if the controller is needed or not, but we're, we have one now, just in case. Okay, cool. We can find out. So, I'm going to go over. How do you have your power cable set up? Say what now? Do you have your power cables underneath the magmatic? Correct. If you want to borrow a magmatic to do some testing, you can just take one. I think we're producing more power than we're using right now, so just you know, just take it and walk away. Um, you know, we'll, we'll do this one. Wait, well, yeah, that works. You can break those. We don't even have to move anything. We just okay. Dead. Now I'm gonna put a plug next to the magmatic, and this is kind of like I am giving power to the network. Oh wow, I right clicked on it and see a lot of things. Yes. So I, I've looked at it a little bit, so I'm not like completely, utterly. Also, utterly I don't have permission to access this network. Ah, okay. So, is that a thing that you can find a way to do? Uh, edit. So thus far, you did not place down one of those flux controllers, correct? No. Okay. So uh, you should be able to right-click it now and see at least information. Uh, negative. Negative. Maybe have you closed the UI? Yeah, and it's up public. Nope, don't like me. It doesn't like me, Soren. <laughs> it doesn't like you. Uh, still now? Uh, let me see. Nope. Dang. Where are you logging? Alright, I'm gonna be logged to then. So I am watching what you're doing now, Soren. I can see, I can see what you're doing. Neat. So this is... Cool. Um... There's a lot of tabs. Inside. There are a lot of tabs. So, from what I can gather, network connections is literally everything on the same network. You can make multiple networks and change these dynamically, but you can only be on one network at a time. Okay. Uh, this is just the provider to the network. I'm gonna put this down on the conduit, the point, and add it to the network. And if you look at the list of connections, you should see that one be added. Yes. Let me know when you've added it, because currently I don't have access to that network. So okay, now I can see it. So network connections, yes. Flux type point, flux, okay, neat, okay. Cool. And it's already working, so we don't need a controller. Oh, nice, well, are you sure? Yeah, we are, we're getting RF, look at that. Sweet. That's awesome. And then I'm gonna place down a controller because I'm carrying for That's pretty cool. That looks cool. Yeah, what's the controller do? Oh, there's ignore limit, which I still don't know, what, that's what's on the other blocks, I don't really know what that does. Sin mode default. Largest first, smallest first default. Receive mode, largest first, smallest first default. Transfer mode, even distribution. And surge, hyper surge, god mode, no transfer. And transmitter o mode off or on. And hopper Neat. only. Held item only. It's a pretty nice looking UI, I gotta say. Considering oh, I, I know how hard UIs are to program, <laughs> like. Anecdotally. Oh, that's neat. It shows me how much it's actually sending. Yeah, I think you can see that anywhere. I see the network statistics. Yeah. On, on your stuff. Network buffer, so there's no RF to store at all. You and... want to try making one of those basic flux store dudes? Do you have the resources to make that? Thank you. Uh, it looks like it's only a little bit of redstone. Block. There's six under pearls. We have that. Yeah. And then there's Herculean flux storage. Kind of curious to see what that looks like. Uh, so I'll get the end of pearls set up real quick. Okay. Yeah, that would be kind of neat. Like, we could uh, we could have like we could stick with energy conduits like underneath our magmatic generators, but have them all feed into one plug, right? Right. Yeah. And, and that not even cool. we could actually have it so they feed into uh, like multiple plugs and have different networks. Right. And get, Correct. I think you can set priorities to these. Right. That's what it seemed like. 
So we can make it so ideal systems need to stay on. We put it higher priority. Can you... Have you been getting dragon's eyes from that um, thing that you're growing over here? Don't you get dragon eyes from these chorus plants? I don't know. I want to check that. All right, never mind. Dragon's eye is from roots. So you do get that from this chorus plant, apparently. By the way, I think. Okay. It's a it's a it's a rare drop that comes from it, but you can smelt those into ender pearls. Yeah, I saw that. I yeah. didn't know where you get them. Okay, that's kind of neat. Yeah, it might be cool. I mean, we All do right. have a mile spawner. Yeah. So this is kind of working pretty well. I like it. Okay. Oh, and I can create a new network if I want. That's cool. Yeah, I need to I need to check out this mod some more because it looks cool. I know like wireless RF is like OP, but it's also like it's interesting. It's so nice. It's cool, right? Like, you know. It's funny because, like, we're getting to a point in modded Minecraft where people are doing things for the sake of saving tick rate on servers, but at the same time, like, it's also making it a little bit more bland, I think. Yeah, so, like, it's kind of like, it's too magical! It's like, well, we had this before and everyone complains. Right. Well, I mean, like, it's, I don't know, like, like the, the chickens thing is the opposite. Like, that's probably bad for the tick rate. Oh yeah, no, it's gonna be terrible because of how much time it takes per chicken. Yeah. Knowing me, I'm gonna pay with like That's why I specifically told you no one thousand chickens. However, I the question that you asked me last episode, whether or not these are entities, I actually was wrong. I checked. They're not entities. At least oh. they don't appear as one. They just render it. So that's a little interesting. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, because I'm yeah. not seeing any entities on my screen right now. Like it says Yeah, that's... well, yeah, zero out of nine. Okay, so we'll be right back, because um, I want to help Soren check out this storage thing. All right, we're back, guys. So Soren has the thing. We had an Octodick around here somewhere. I don't know where it went. Did you steal it before? We have eight. Oh. You made a lot of them, then. I didn't make any of them. They're all loot bag crops. Oh, nice. Well, that's cool. <laughs> if you get those from loot bag, that's awesome, because those things are annoying to make. <laughs> they are annoying to make. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to place that down add it to the network real quick. Okay. Cool. Local buffer, zero out of 256. I presume that's 1,000 RF? Yeah. Okay. Now, does it need to be hooked up to a plug or something, or does it just work? That would be the question. That is the question. Now, let me take out the Octatic here and make it so it Oh, hey, wait, wait, things are moving. Oh, cool. Some stuff's There's nowhere else to send power, so it's going to send it here. Okay. Maybe that's what the priority thing? Oh, you made this priority one, right? I tried to, yeah, I was wondering if that would change it then, yeah, same too. Neat. Well, that's cool. A different question. If I remove this, uh, let's just make another network and say offline. For a second, make it so it's that one. That's kind of cool. I like how it has like a visual representation of it filling up too. Dude, look how many resources we have in this chest. It's awesome. <laughs> Iron and, and gold. And we have more being smelted over here. Leave those octodicks in because I'm gonna smelt things very quickly now. Okay. I'm not really sure where this is getting power from. Yeah. Because I'm holding the plug in my hand. Well, the local buffer is not filling up. It's the network buffer. Oh, uh, well, no, the local buffer for me is filling up as well. No, for me it's it stopped. Oh no, now it's filling up. Now it's filling up a little bit. But the magmatic generator is still sending power somewhere. 
It is. I wonder if that's bound. Huh. And then clear it. It was a good thought, though. Well, let's check out your flux controller. See, I still see your your basic provider as existing on your network it's connections production. tab. It's production. I should be missing. What's that? It should be production and basic provider. The green one. Yeah, that one. That's so good. Interesting. Maybe that's a bug. Maybe yeah. like when you broke the block, it didn't remove the tile entity or something. Let me try placing down again. I placed the regular block down. So I see your new flux pl plug. Did you name it basic production? Is that what you did? Yeah. And then gotcha. I moved it to offline. Interesting. Yeah. So maybe I'm thinking that's a bug. It might be leaving the tile entity behind or something. Because clearly it's you know still what? taking the... the RF out of the magmatic generator. So I changed the um, network of the plug before I broke it. I don't know if that refreshed it. If breaking okay. it fixed it. Uh, it fixed the, removed it from this list. Okay. Second. Maybe put it back and then break it again. Put it back in the spot it was in. And let me bind it to the network. What does it do? Yeah, see, it's listed in the, it's listed, basic production is still listed in the network. Even with that exactly there, right. and it had it in the same XYZ coordinates. Basic production. Yeah, it's not, it's not clearing that old one. He broke <laughs> it. Interesting. Well, that was fast. Soren broke it already. What if you hit that reset? Already. There's a reset button down here under... When you go to edit network, there's a reset button. What's that do? You want to try that? I tried it. Did it work? No. I think the other, the only test I can think of is breaking the magmatic hand. Yeah, but I think if if it's this tile entity that's still ghosting, I don't think breaking the magmatic is going to... If you put it back down, it's just going to reconnect to it, I would think. So, obviously, a little bit of playing around to do. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I think that's a good wrapping up point. So we have some form of storage of RF, which is cool. Um, we've got a couple other things to play with a little bit. This mod definitely looks interesting, and it's probably relatively new, so I'm not surprised that there's a bug here and there. I think that's a bug. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's intended behavior somehow. Um, or maybe Soren did something wrong, which is highly possible. Yay! Blame Soren. Um, but hey, dude, our uh, the thing that I built today is working great, and that is the Soul Sand. We have over a stack. Nice. Yeah, and just put sand into the thing back there, and you're in good shape. I'm going to go put another stack of sand into the input of this network, and you're good to go, dude. So it just keeps making it. Anyway, wrapping up point. Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll be back next time to do more cool and interesting stuff. For now, take it easy.